Okay, here we are. Here we are on the second part of my first uh, record show. As I uh, uh, originally said in the first one, I just uh, didn't want to do the shooting uh, when it was night time. Uh, and, but still, still, it's daytime now, but unfortunately the clouds are uh, all around the sky, making it not work uh, for someone who wants to shoot this in the daytime, it's daylight. So anyway, we're going on, we're continuing. Another record uh, on this uh, record show is by this artist called Soli. Soli is, uh, was from Iran uh, in the 70s. He released some very nice records and of course uh, in the cassette era too, he did some uh, nice stuff. And this is one of the, uh, uh, this single is one of his best and one of the most rocking uh, 45s from kind of a, he was not a major artist, but he was in the, uh, he was operating in the major field of uh, pop music artists uh, of Iran at the time. Uh, this tune, Negar, was just fantastic. <laughs> But sometimes they completely different uh, versions of the song, instrumental versions of the song. Uh, this one, this time on this uh, set of auctions I have, uh, is not coming with its picture sleeve, but there's a company sleeve with it. And so let's go together uh, for, as we said, Soli. Um, here we have another 45 by him. This is called Hamida Fil, uh, another great one. And also on this one, we have this fantastic tabla, starting with a tabla beat. Tabla usually is known as an Indian instrument, you know, but in the um, kind of on Eastern Iran, nearing the Pakistani border, and Pakistan used to be part of India, you know. There is this uh, big area, actually a state called Sistan the Balochistan. And also there is a Balochistan in Pakistan. In that area, they use Tabla a lot. That's how it enters the uh, Iranian mid-70s, this vocal style between male singers in Iran was quite, quite popular. This is like a continuation of the same song. 
رنج مهربونه گفتی پیشت میمونه برد دلا میخونه گفتی پیشت میمونه برد دلا میخونه چه شد که بی مکن بی مکن زمن جدایی چه شد که بی مکن یا ای مکن زمن جدایی ای کنه نزم نقبت زم نبای سزم با تو می سزم من ای کنه نزم نقبت زم نبای سزم با تو می سزم من Great record, another great record. Uh, interesting stuff coming out out there in the early 70s. The search for uh, kind of expressing themselves in a modernizing uh, way. Uh, Lots of lots of uh, need to be said about that, but uh, if we start talking about it, we will drown out the music playing. So here we have an incredibly, really, truly mega rare uh, picture sleeve uh, EP. The record itself, if you spend time in Iran, you can find without the cover, but uh, especially the covers from 1960s. Uh, they, they didn't treat them too well in Iran at the time, um, unfortunately. Uh, many times they're completely torn or just they, they just don't exist. Maybe students or teenagers at the, at the time, I don't know, uh, did they paste it on their walls or on their uh, school notebooks or something. But you just cannot find these sleeves. They, they just don't come up. And when they do, and now they're really, really overpriced in Tehran. So, um, we have a uh, very nice uh, EP over here, um, the Golden Rank, the band is named, and I'm not uh, saying some kind of an English translation of a Persian uh, word. It says over here in Persian, Group Golden Rank. So, uh, let's give an ear to this tune. <laughs> Lots of shadows and winters influences, of course. singers especially to have uh, collaborations with RF the singer RF uh, from uh, 60s and 70s in Iran but they also did quite a lot of um, quite a number of not a lot of quite a number of uh, records on their own a couple of them uh, becoming big hits but the ones that became hits uh, I'm really not that uh, crazy about them but they have a few EPs like this that I really like and I think a lot of people will take notice. There's especially one that I let at last time, uh, last time I found it, it was uh, 2015. I'm still looking for it. Uh, I think I found a really battered, really uh, um, played to death copy of it, but of course I didn't take it. And that that is just one uh, damn, uh, garage punk stuff. Well, um, rock and roll was popular, especially in the late 60s in Iran, but when uh, the tide started turning uh, into a much more R&B and funk based music, at the tail end of uh, 60s and early 70s, that became uh, the most popular and the most loved um, wing of uh, Western music in Iran and uh, 
if you take a look at their own companies, Iranian record companies, output of Western music, what they chose to put out, there are actually not too many rock stuff, but a lot of R&B, soul, Motown, those kind of uh, beats and sounds. Uh, one of the biggest, most legendary um, artists of its time, Shema Izadeh, just as you can see on, in the middle here on a collaboration on one of the songs and also over here. Uh, he was also into this kind of music and he uh, released uh, this uh, single in 1974. I think it was 2008 or something when I first found this single in one of my trips in Iran and I was absolutely just gobsmacked and I was flipping with joy. The song stopped, Caliphate. records to go through. That's why I am cutting them a bit short. And as I said, you can um, actually hear, the, hear these again on the uh, sound files that I put up with the eBay listings. Actually, unfortunately, eBay is not allowing external links anymore, in their wisdom. <clears throat> but, but, uh, you can just actually copy and paste the uh, external linkless just uh, text part of the link and copy it and paste it on to another browser and voila you'll be able to hear these much clearer than over here and as we're speaking of funk and r and um, uh, countries most famous and absolutely uh, unmistakably biggest diva of uh, pop music in Iran, Gugush also released uh, some uh, stuff. Uh, I think uh, I think I played. Uh, did, did I play uh, the first EP? I think I did. And now this actually is the rarer of the two English EPs she has released in Iran. This is very very hard to find, and especially with the sleeve. Uh, it's very difficult and I think it's really gorgeous for some reason uh, it, she really is speaking out from her heart it's really really has soul one of the best uh, Western style uh, 45s or repeats from Iran ever ah, let me put it right from the beginning Uh, 
who played on these uh, songs uh, on their original sleeves, but unfortunately they didn't. So uh, there's one other tune I was just thinking of uh, playing that or not, Want Ads, um, and she does a great rendition of it, uh, but I'm just skipping it uh, for now. You can find it on my eBay sales and um, the sound file coming with it. When we say Gugush, of course, her uh, actual forte was in Persian music, and she was like the undoubted biggest star of Persian pop. And uh, she released a lot of singles, um, a huge part of them becoming a success. Uh, but those ones which were quite successful usually are not that exciting for um, uh, for an ear that wants to listen to it uh, on a, in a world uh, kind of a world citizen ears. So, uh, but there are a few which are which are great. Just there's this single um, with the uh, with the starring song Manuto. It's absolutely fantastic single. For my for my taste, uh, one side is this. I'll just have you listen to it. Um, Persian pop song with it, not not too funky, but with a with a Latin uh, twist to it. This is my This song was also covered by a Turkish artist in the seventies. Absolutely is one of the most beautiful, beautiful uh, Iranian tunes uh, you'll find from 60s and 70s. It's just a gorgeous song called Manu Gonjeshkaya Khune. Uh, it is haunting, it is beautiful, it is mysterious. Uh, not too much rock and roll to it uh, if you're a really rock fan, but it's just. It uh, gives me goosebumps every time I hear it. Oh, shit. 
دست و روشن ای که حرفای قشنگت من آشتی داده با من من خوجش با یه خوبه دیدن آدت به هوای I'm cutting it here, but it's even further devel developing. You know, it's really crazy uh, in a way. It's just a song and a single. It sounds like an album track. Uh, unfortunately, these popular artists in Iran never did a proper album, especially in the 60s and early 70s. There are LPs, I'm sure uh, you must have seen them if you're interested in these artists, but they're all just uh, different samplers of um, 45s. I, uh, I mean, not, not even the new ones. The original LPs released by uh, companies like Ahayna Rose or Royal, uh, they are just uh, s the compilations of already um, released singles. And she really deserved to make a proper album, uh, like a, a real album that had a kind of a cohesiveness to it from start to finish. Anyway. Fantastic Pugu single uh, with its picture sleeve and in uh, almost immaculate condition uh, in our cells. So, uh, now it's time for Ahdiye. Ahdiye used to uh, be the absolute queen of Iranian cinema soundtrack scene. She uh, sang in many, many, probably hundreds of uh, songs on uh, Iranian film music. She also did uh, uh, like solo uh, 45 solo singles and recordings on her own privately not affiliated to uh, any movie but uh, she she was known uh, rightly so as the queen of Iranian soundtracks and uh, for a long time I didn't pay much attention to her records but lately lately after all these years I'm finding some of them to be very very fun and interesting and I'm I mean a lot of uh, kind of Sampling possibilities done uh, could be done over here by DJs, but I don't know. Uh, this is one of them. Again, film music. Absolutely one of the uh, undoubted uh, queens of uh, Persian pop and funk, 
Ramesh. Uh, Ramesh did a lot of great records, a lot of great stuff. And this is uh, one of her uh, best uh, crossover singles. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean by crossover? Like uh, Western music uh, meets Persian. something I uh, first uh, found this in one of my uh, digging trips in Iran and I was quite blown away. Uh, he's called Alae, uh, not Alae, sorry, Alae. Uh, I don't know the correct uh, pronunci uh, pronunciation because it's one of the names that uh, I've never been uh, accustomed to. Uh, in Turkish we don't have Alae or Ala. Uh, names like that in in uh, Arabic countries, uh, I think they they also have uh, in Iran, as you can see, uh, they also have. And please, please, dudes, folks, folks from the West, Turkish people, Iranian people, Arabic people, very different from each other. <laughs> Uh, lots of lots of uh, common things in the culture, uh, in the religion, in food, but a lot of difference, uh, a lot of difference uh, too. Uh, please, please don't put these people into one bag. So, um, as I said, I initially found this some years ago and I was blown away by it because uh, this guy is uh, really not much known. And uh, it really is a, a wonder to find his uh, records with the sleeve uh, from those years. This is from late 60s. And really Of course, we are living in the age of internet and news are traveling fast. Uh, years ago, nobody cared about, uh, especially records like this, you know, one-off singers, not to uh, much known singers doing uh, uh, releasing records like this. But since uh, these stuff appear on compilations and whatever, and I sell them. Uh... Okay guys, that's it for this time. We have a lot of records to go through. And uh, just a little small mishap happened uh, with the recording. Uh, excuse me, I couldn't uh, have you listen to the Alaya record uh, uh, as uh, longer 
uh, as possible, uh, as I hope so. But uh, it's no problem. You'll be able to listen to it uh, on the uh, listings and the link that I give in the listings anyway. Um, uh, that's all for this time. And I hope uh, next time it'll be much better with better sound and better uh, quality. But for the first uh, time, I think this is okay. Thank you so much for watching.